here, and this promotion makes no sense. You could be sued for serving somebody under 21. If you miss this, you'll freaking miss anything. It's insane in here. These kids are going crazy. Look at the staff taking shots. I hate when bartenders have to drink to work. I do not understand it. The bartenders are drinking more than the customers are. Yes, they are. You see that guy right there? His name is Church. He's a good friend of Lee's. And he's a chaplain. He's here all the time. Two more tacos. Sherry is cooking. OK. One order right there. Touching raw meat with bare hands. Cross contamination all over. Look at that kitchen, buddy. Disgusting. Nothing but grease. And there's grease dripping all down the stove. No, it's the flat top. So, so that where is that coming from? The grease trap is filled, which is a fire hazard. So when you look at a kitchen like this, chef, right out of the gate, we know there's no rules, because nothing's right. cleaned. We know there's no systems, because nothing is set up in an organized way. They just close up shop and go home. There's no way they clean up. We know there's no quality, because there can't be quality without systems and cleanliness. Absolutely. All of these things together looks like losing money. You're right. You're the taco room. <laughs> well, you all this <laughs> I all this Wow. We're playing it. No, no, no. I ain't getting no problem taking my belt off. I'll take my belt off, too. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. The biggest thing to me, being a bartender, is service. And we've got a bartender behind the bar who's getting dressed, putting a belt on. They're putting lipstick on, using the bottle as a mirror. You got to be kidding me. I can tell they're over porn just by watching them. Ready? OK, hold on. I got to get fit. It's like they're back there having their own little girl slumber party. This is not your home, girls. This is a business. Oh, oh my god. This is why I don't like to work here. So look at this. Pineapple and Nikita are just messing around. Josie is the only one working around here. This is ridiculous. What? The hell are wrong? Oh my god. Give it to me so I can show Sherry. The chicken's roll. They're sending it back. Sherry, this is not cooked. We got major issues back there. And if we don't get it together, we are going to get people sick. Right. And where is Lee at this time? Playing pool. Still playing pool. We don't wear pennies on a <laughs> we going on a trip to the beach. You hear the that we conversating about in here? <laughs> Josie coming with us. Josie, you not coming? We wear no pennies on the beach. Yeah. No pennies on the beach. Done with this. I know you ain't giving her no two dollars, and you just gave me a dollar. I could have pocketed your twenty dollars. I've never seen bartenders have that much attitude and got tips. How about you give that guest a great experience to bring them in three times a week? You better quit playing with me, talking to them like that. Look at how they bicker with each other. And when you're behind that bar, whether you like each other or not, you should look like best friends to those customers and create that experience for your guests. This place is a complete free-for-all. Oh my god, church, don't already start, though. So church doesn't even work here, walks behind the bar. Oh, no. -uh. Hey, excuse me. You ain't even talking back here in the first place, right? Yeah, go over there. El Boogie does not look happy with church right now. Yeah. You OK? I don't know about this place sometimes. I swear I don't. All I know is Lee need to keep his boys away from me. Why are you even back here? Look at that. What's wrong? I don't even know why church is here. He doesn't even work here. Uh, uh, what we do? So we have terrible customer service from the bartenders, raw food being served out of the kitchen, and Lee's friend messing around behind the bar. Not only is this upsetting customers, but it's also pissing off some of the employees. Lee doesn't seem to manage anything. No control, no supervision, no nothing. I'm hella mad. Oh, wow. Oh. It only takes so much, man. I'm telling you, we're going to be running. I'm going to kick him. Crazy. 
Oh, I don't like this, John. I don't like this one bit. Wait, Church, you can't be coming back here right now, though. Seriously, Church. Church wasn't like me hit him. Hey, y'all got a tap? Uh, back up. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. hey. Whoa. This is the perfect example of what happens when a bar is out of control. Now what's going on? I think what happened was we beat the up out of here finally. Man, that's crazy. This is all kinds of that's going on right now. Man, that's crazy. I don't want to lose my dream. It's bad. It's really bad. Look at Lee like a broken man walking out of his barn. So this is Richmond County on Staten Island. Staten Island is one of the five boroughs of New York. 73% of the homes in this area are over $600,000 a year. Population is 28,000. But here's what's interesting. It's actually an older area. The median age is 42 years old, whereas the median age of America is only 37. And then you look at the people that live in this market, and you look at that bar, complete disconnect. Absolutely. None of it comes together. You can see why they're failing right here on the street before we even go inside. So for recon tonight, you know who I got? <laughs> His wife. I don't know. When I agreed to that, I wasn't watching this, pal. Call hey, your wife. I've sent my wife into work. Oh, I know you have. So the logic was, we have to send somebody in who represents the market, not the bar. It's who should be in this bar. Oh, boy. Good luck, baby. I love you. You have a drink list? We do not. There's Jolene. She's the bartender. What kind of wine do you have? I have no wine. No wine. No wine. No, no drink customer. list. These guys aren't catering to their market, they're beneath it. They need some high-end, sophisticated wines and spirits to capture their market. I can make margaritas right now. You want a Cosmo? Oh, margaritas, perfect. Now, margaritas is the most popular drink in America. Right. If a bartender can make anything. You better be able to make a margarita. <laughs> First of all, you never shake it with the glass up. The glass can go flying and hurt somebody. We're gonna push it up against her body. She doesn't know how to separate it. Oh! oh. The glass. So the glass that's been sitting on the bar, her hand went on it, she shook it with it, and now she's using it as a strainer. You actually can see people's facial muscles tighten from the sourness. Look, there it is. Oh. It's two brothers that own this bar. They've owned it for 11 years. There's Steve. You can tell who Steve is. He's wearing a black shirt. There's his brother, Eric, who's in a blue shirt. Put it out. <laughs> they do well for a few years. Now, they're losing thousands of dollars a month. They're in debt 700000 and it gets worse. Can I help you to your table? Okay. They're letting everybody destroy their lives. They're doing nothing about saving themselves. There's Stu, a third brother. Oh, wrong part. <laughs> a lot of things in my mind, sorry. Look at this. There's a customer who just walked into the kitchen. Raviolis. Ravioli, yeah. Look how comfortable he was walking in. You know he's walked through those doors. Of course he has. Not the first time. Wait, I had a ravioli. Was a ravioli? This guy is a doormat. He's being walked all over. These guys are the biggest wimps in the world. Hey, Eric! Eric! Look at that huge do not enter sign. Do what not enter. Joke. Well, they got a pizza oven. Yeah, you know how many bars try to cook pizza without a pizza oven? That's an asset in a bar business. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. Low cost, high profit. Big as a tank. That's Pablo. Put in the sauce cheese? over the cheese. Have you ever seen the cheese go on before the sauce? No. The sauce is going to burn, well, and the cheese won't brown. This guy is ass backwards. Is that exposed countertop? That's the rusted freezer. That's the top of a residential top load freezer. You know how that gets like that? Somebody either sitting on it or sleeping on it. That doesn't happen. What the hell is that? There's icicles. Is that insulation? What is that? Oh my God. Where do you think all that insulation is in the food? And that's not wrapped up. Oh. Fiberglass is made from glass that's pulled into thin fibers. If it gets into food, it could kill somebody. It's incredibly dangerous. Fiberglass should be nowhere near food. Look at this freaking guy. Unbelievable. He's grabbing his own chicken fingers or mozzarella sticks, whatever it is, and throwing it in the fryer. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my order first, please. Poor guy. What happens if they burn themselves? They get sued for a couple million. Come on, seriously. He's working. Almost done. What are you making? Why don't you let him make it? I like making it myself. They don't care. It's a free-for-all. 
New York burgers. You don't get them nowhere else. Uh, no more meat. All the they customers took meat. all the beef. Yeah. The other people ate everything, so it's no more. That's it. No more hamburgers. And this is not just today. This is all the time. And when I try to say something, they don't like it. They, f they think I'm the stupid. You know, it's unbelievable to me that these people are walking in and out of this kitchen and cooking this food. If they can walk in the kitchen, why can't you? You probably could. Why don't you go in there and make us a pizza? You guys hungry? Yeah, go make us something. Can you believe what we're watching? <laughs> so he just walked right in. Look at this. Nobody says a word. Not a word. Hey, como esta? How are you, senor? Good. We could all be in there cooking. Yeah. What's your name? Pablo. Pablo? Yes. Let's make a pizza, Pablo. <sighs> Cheese goes on top of the sauce. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Excuse me. I'm out of your way, Pablo. I got two hands. Why, why you guys bother me today? Why you, everybody freaking? Just give me a loan, let me work, let me do my job, please. Amazing. Never seen anything like it. Okay, muchas gracias, all right? I'll see you later. Now, the only thing I would ever eat from this kitchen is a pizza, because it was brought up to 500 degrees, mm -hmm. and the fact is it's the only safe thing in the whole damn place. 10 minutes, we grew up. Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. We'll take a little pizza. See you later. Just walked right out with a pizza. No one said a word. Took the pan, too. <laughs> hey, did you guys order a pizza? I made your beautiful pizza. It's a bar rescue first. It's the first time I have ever been able to send a chef into another restaurant, walk into their kitchen, cook us a meal, and bring it out. And bring it out. Why don't we have a slice of pizza, everybody? Come on. You know, the basic dough is okay. And the oven works like a charm. The oven was nice and hot. And he actually cleaned it out for me, Pablo. You know how many bars we'd kill for That's, that oven? Yeah, I would. Ooh. Can you guys just try to behave a little bit? Oh, oh. Oh. I'm rescuing my wife. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Stupidness. That's... Stupidness, all right? I expect a tough rescue, that's why I'm here. I did not expect owners that are clearly not doing anything to run their business. I want you guys out of here. You gotta go. Hi. Hi. John Caffer. Hey, how are you? How are you? What's your name? Steve. Where are your two partners? Your brothers. Go stand over there. I don't want to lose this business. I don't want to let my brothers down and my staff. I don't want to let anybody down. Here, guys, I'm a New Yorker. He's a New Yorker. New Yorkers are supposed to be tough. We're supposed to be strong. You're letting somebody fire fireworks in your bar. These are your customers. They're disrespectful and you let it happen. And they don't give a about you. They can walk in the kitchen, they can walk to the bar. I sent Josh in here. He walked right into your kitchen, made a pizza. Nobody said a word. Do you think any bar owner would allow that to happen? No. How much are you losing every month? Uh, 8,000, maybe more. How much time do you have till you're done? It could be any day, I don't sleep. You don't sleep, do you have any money? No, how you doing? So, how has this impacted your personal life? I lost my car, my house has been foreclosed twice. How are you doing? I have nothing, I mean, and I'm a, a homeless guy. It's a dream of mine to have my own little, little studio apartment. I deserve to have more. I really, really want to be successful again. I want to, I want to have my own little studio apartment. How are you doing personally? Well, because it doesn't get so bad, I went and I got something on the side. I, I do telecommunication, so I'm surviving. So you have a job? Yeah. How much money do you have in this? Uh, together, all of us, almost $700. $700,000. So what the hell are you going to do about it? Whatever you say. Whatever I say. I want to make it work. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Anything. You know what I want? I want you to close this bar, and I want this room empty in five minutes. Let's see if you have the balls to do it. You got it. All right. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. Honestly, you guys got to go. You know, a lot of people that know me, just see your customers laugh at you. They don't even listen. All right, guys. Your favorite, guys. You guys got to go. All right. You guys got to go. All right. Two and a half minutes. Come on, guys. Everybody's got to go. Look at this joke. Whoa, whoa. You kidding me? Yeah, you're a class act, buddy. You kidding me? Class act.
Tonight, we're gonna do our stress test. So I wanna do an 18 and overnight. It's your idea, it's your promotion, let's see it operate. We open in two minutes. An 18 and over promotion has a lot of liability attached to it with none of the revenue potential. I would never get involved in an 18 and overnight. But tonight, I'm gonna let them run it and see what happens. What's up, guys? Welcome. Come on in, guys. We are open for business. Pink bracelet's the only one you're serving. Tonight, we're gonna be using Mike and Brian's system for verifying age. They're putting two black X's on the hands of those under 21 and pink wristbands on the wrists of those 21 and over. Now, let's see if they can manage it. I'm sending in a 23-year-old who is of legal drinking age, and she's gonna say she's 18. They're gonna mark her as an 18-year-old, and let's see if she can get a cocktail. Long Island? All right, one in Rome, let's do it. <laughs> now I'm gonna wipe my exes off. They come off so easily. This is a joke. I'm sure girls do this all the time. And they're gone. Taste that real quick. What is this? Long Island. Did you shake it? No, I did not. You gotta shake it. One, two, three, four. Give me four new ones. Go, Jane. Go, girl. Let's go. Move, move, move. Look, look how far these are filled up. It should not be that full. Okay. And when they grab the drink, you're already spilling it. Okay. It's all over your hand. Okay, okay. It's Budweiser. Ten Budweiser's? Yep. There you go. So 10 Bud Lights? Yes. Do you, do you see 10 people that are drinking them? Oh, my goodness. I forgot to say he's 18 and over. Yep, yep, right there. 10, 10 Bud Lights, who's drinking all those? You know, you're just passing them out to anybody. You can't have that. Who knows where those things are going out? Of course. You know what I mean? They're 18-year-olds. Exactly. You got bracelets, they can have beer. But then they can't have their drink. So I have a girl who's 23, Jenna, who I sent in here with an ID of an 18-year-old. So she doesn't have a pink wristband. She doesn't have the exes. She shouldn't have a cocktail. Her friend just bought a cocktail and passed it to her. I want to see how long she keeps this cocktail before somebody busts her. Drink up. They're supposed to be looking, right? Obviously, they're looking, but they don't see. If I were you, I would be covering my ass by walking through this crowd and making sure nobody over 21 has the wrong glass. You know what I'm saying? Cover your butt. Do it. Sorry. Standing in here, holding up her cocktail, right next to the security guard. to the owner, and he didn't notice the drink in her hand. There is no way. Straight in here. Now, you, instead of doing one by one, now you can knock them all out. Stressful night. I'm, re I'm actually really angry with my guys right now, the bartenders, because we went through a lot of training today, talking about technique, talking about taking multiple orders, and it started off absolutely like we didn't do anything. Long Island Ice King. She's now had this cocktail for 30 minutes. Shut up. Owners have walked by. The security guy is staring right at it. She's holding it up. She's having a I've seen her five times. She's not even hiding it. That's how they run their business. You allow this party to happen just as much as me. Mike, this is Jenna. Jenna's 23. I had her use a friend's ID tonight to get in who's 18. She's been drinking this cocktail for how long? About 45 minutes. 45 minutes. How many times did I ask you to walk through the room? Uh, I didn't see that. You blew it as an owner, and this promotion makes no sense. You could be sued for serving somebody under 21. If you miss this, you'll freaking miss anything. It's insane in here. Ah. These kids are going crazy. Oh, no. Okay, 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 ok
This bar is out of control. This is insane. She's chasing my cameraman. Are you kidding me? You get your cameraman. Listen to me, guys. This 18 and over is a nightmare. You can't freaking win. Shut it the f down, guys. Bar's closed, out. guys. Very sorry, the bar's closed. Thank you, guys. Hi. Hello. Can you meet me with this man out straight up whiskey? There's China, the bartender that he's talking to. The vermouth is sitting right on the shelf. Vermouth is something that needs to be kept cold. It's one of those things you pop it open that you have to have it within a week. It's spoiled wine. You right over there? Coming right now. There's Blue. He's the head bartender. All right, so warm, right, bro. Okay. Uh, I'll make another one. The reason that beer's coming out warm is because those old school draft systems, not the glycol lines. They literally have to throw ice into the tub. Which means it's warm between the keg and the tapper, so it's not good. Absolutely not. Yo. Marcos! Marcos! That's Marcos. He's our cook. Well, look at what you're serving, pai. Mira y eso. Como yo van a comer eso? Come on. Bro. Oh. kidding me? He opens the refrigerator door, and now he's walking around the kitchen doing things, but he left the door open. That's one of the biggest no-nos. In a small kitchen with that much heat building up, a minute that door has been open. If it were happening in my restaurant, he would be fired. Wow. Unbelievable. You know they're not staying at below 40 degrees. Can you imagine how much the temperature's risen in that box? 15, 20 degrees easily. Look at how many wings he has in that basket, though, Chef. Yeah. You can't cook that many wings at once. Here goes the wings. Thank you. Let me get you some ketchup for you. Oh, and he's not looking like oh, he's oh, doing. Yeah, it's under Some of them are cooked, but some of them aren't. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you throwing those wings out? Because they're not cooked. What do you mean? Look at Brian there, having his beer. At least Miguel is walking around, showing his face. He's got Brian sitting at the end of the bar, just drinking beer and staring at people. Take one to Daisy. Yeah. I gave you a shot already, mother But that's my fault that he bumped into me, right? That's my fault that he bumped into me. What customer would like him? What employee or customer? You want to drink all day long. I'm the Help out. Yeah, help you what? Yell? You want me to help you Damn. You waiting on food or no? You good on food? Yeah, I need yell at him. Yell. Go yell, Miguel. Go yell. Shut the up. More complaints in the food than the What are you doing? What are you doing? You're talking. You're talking. Like always. Talk, talk, talk. No, no work. Customers and employees have to watch. Look at this. Look, I'm running the ball. Why are you running the ball? You drinking the ball. You ain't running the ball. What are you doing? You ain't running the Come on, man. 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 Come The only undisputed part of this bar is that it sucks. Right. We are in one freaking hole here. Why don't you take a look in the kitchen? Yep. Go get the bar. I'm going to go talk to the partners. Where's Brian? Beer down. How's it going? Russell Hi, China. Nice how are you? you? Nice to meet you. What's going on, fellas? You got yourself a busy night tonight? Yeah, a little busy. So how much do you hate him? Because I've never seen anybody be a bigger <laughs> hole than you. But you beat up on him, who's running around trying as you stood here and didn't do a thing. You sound like him right now. You talk. See? That's the idiot he is. Punch drunk idiot. Whatever you think, Tal. This is a business that is no leadership. The fact of the matter is, this market is getting hot. And I'm looking at a bar that is about six notches below the marketplace. Oh, you got your vermouth up here? My vermouth. So you know what vermouth is? It's a fortified wine. So as soon as you open this bad boy up, you only keep it for like a week at the max. It's been here for months. Do you guys handle all of your liquor legally and everything? Honestly, no. Honestly, no? They get the cheap liquor and they put it in here. Okay, so like the bottle. Yeah. 
putting cheaper brands of alcohol into premium spirit bottles. That's the type of thing that gets your liquor license taken away and your bar shut down. Yeah. Where do you guys keep the back stock of the cheap liquor? Downstairs. Downstairs. Can you show me downstairs? Yeah. It's a sad state that a bar is in when they feel they need to rip off their customers in order to make money. Which one of you two, or is it both of you, are pouring cheap liquor into premium bottles? Neither one of Don't them. Don't you bull me. I've had so two of your employees tell me that you did. I've seen the bottles. I've seen the show me the bottles. I tasted the liquor. Neither one of me and him ever poured a cheap liquor so bottle. You show me, on. show me that I poured a cheap liquor. Cause you know that's a damn lie. You know I didn't do it. Here's your funnel. No, we know it. A smart man knows when he's busted. We didn't tell these guys to put this in the liquor. I'm gonna walk out of here and save your ass. Mr. Tapia, this is your chance to come. Telling you, do you want me to walk out of here? To walk out of here. And you better be straight with me. I'm being straight. You better think about your answer or I'm going to walk out of here. Have you ever known that bar brands went in a car brand bottle? Ever? Yeah, I know. Only two bottles that we ever did, and I'll tell you the two bottles. I don't care if it's one bottle or a hundred bottles. You're a thief. And I say the same to you. You're a thief. What integrity do you have left? Obviously none. Shame on you. I'm out of here. So let me out of here. We gotta make it right. Uh, we gotta do whatever we gotta do. I need time for help. It's ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Time to go. Hey, I need you Shut the up. How about that? Dude, dude. change. <sighs> Nobody get, went to the bank today. So. There's Max. He's one of the two brothers who opened it. I have zero patience for any kind of stupidity today. And there's Reich, Max's brother. Reich and Max were Defense Department subcontractors in Afghanistan. Reich got wounded. That's why he wears those sunglasses. Hmm. There's any customers, anybody who's rude or disrespectful, just let me know. There's Sabrina. She's our manager. Sabrina, can I get another bottle of these? Because we don't have that many, that much. There's Candace. She's a bartender. You working tomorrow night here, Josh? Yeah, I'll be here all week. There's Josh. She's a bartender. And there's Eric, chef. He's one of your cooks. OK. Max might be the worst user of social media I maybe have ever seen. Managing your reputation on social media means that you take all negative messaging and you turn it positive. Not him. I got to show you what Max posted. Do you have any problems or issues with my bar? Listen, you If you want to donate, then I'll give you. If not, then shut the up. Now, he put that online for all to see. Wow. In a small town, you're going to lose on social media like this. It's over. And Max has some other inappropriate responses to reviews as well. Look at this. He takes all social media messaging and turns it negative himself. So guys, here's what I did. The people that you just saw on social media that Max has been insulting, I reached out to them, and I asked them to get a bunch of friends together to come to this bar. Max doesn't have a history of containing his temper on social media. Tonight, I want to put Max under stress, and let's see if he can control his temper. Can I have a honey punch, please? A honey punch? Yes, please. There's no urgency, and if they're not smiling, her shake is lazy. The ingredients aren't going to be properly bound together. All right. Or your women. No, I Short. You see a lot of people. You see a lot of drinks. No, I don't. Look at those tickets. Oh. Look at that. What table is that? Can you print out their check? Boom. Hey, what's your CC next glasses? We have no more. What was I getting for you? Uh, something red. Isn't she the manager? Give me one second. Hey, Sabrina, where's the olives? In the fridge. But they're confused. They're lining up 14 shots. <laughs> Way down. 
Look at the drinks crossing the bar. They're not collecting money. No, they're not. They're literally giving away. They're just giving away drinks to save face. This is a cluster Yeah. Never got my drinks. You want to wait? I can get it no, for you. We waited 45 minutes. Yeah, okay, we're done. We got our food. We're done. Take care, guys. All right. Thank He's you. letting them walk out without pee. Right. We haven't gotten our drinks yet. Okay, what was your drinks? I got a cranberry juice <laughs> and, <laughs> and a cocktail. He's comping everybody because they're failing. Did you guys get everything that you ordered? The food, the nachos are burned. I would love to bring you another nachos. Okay. Okay. Anything else that I can do to make you happy? When you have a problem at the table, that's an opportunity to build a better relationship than you've ever had. Yeah. yeah. So you use it. We're only not I'll, I'll fix it. Can I get you another nachos for you? Yes, they want another okay. Give me about but two minutes and I'll make it myself, okay? It was 25 before, so I mean, I'm two, I'm good. I'm gonna make it myself for you just to make Someone it happy. Someone get a phone out. Yes. Someone get a phone out. Okay, take it don't, easy, don't I'll get it for you. you. Just take his body language. I'll get it as fast as I can. This is not a guy who's good at controlling his temper. Jeez. Oh. Hey, make the nachos correct with the same people that start bashing me on social media. Yeah. They're here and just they're trying to be a dick. I need a nachos. You guys have one minute. I would serve burnt food if my boss talked to me it. like that. You're here making the food. I'm the one who gets yelled at. I made it myself. Oh my Those are beautiful. Wow. So, drinks, your drinks are bad? No, their drinks are not bad. So everything is bad for you? Yeah. Get the out. Leave. You know, he is disrespecting his own customers. I'm going in. I didn't send my recon spies in to cause problems. I want to see how Max deals with the tension of a busy bar. Have a nice dinner, sir, please. And just like he did on social media, he turned it negative, escalated everything. Now I have to sit down with him and teach him what's wrong about his ways. Where is the mental giant who runs this place? There you are, I'm here. Wow. He needs to hear from you how much he failed. Is there any plate that came out on this table that you said, wow, this is good, try this? You've done everything wrong. It's frustrating. Are you frustrated? Yes. I feel from the get-go, I was set up for failure from the minute that I walked in. <laughs> All right, whatever, John. You understand the depth of your failure. I go on social media and I watch you call customers the C word online, right? She's here. You had a bad experience in this bar, correct? Well, who let you guys in? You guys are the one who started this thing. Did he not call you the C word on social media? I was told you care, I don't see it. I was told you were respectful, I don't see it. John, cut the bull crap, man. Come on. I see a loser. Man, you need to stop with this insulting. Was this insulting to put in front of customers? Is that an insult to her? Is this an insult to her? It is. I'm insulting you because you insulted them. Not one customer looked at you and said, good job tonight. I loved your business. Raise your hand if this place sucks. Raise your hand if you'll never come back. Max has got patience. Good job, buddy. You are a failure. Apologize to every guest, and then I'll come back tomorrow. Good night. Have a nice day. Okay. Come over here and apologize. Whatever. No, come over here and apologize. Get the f out. I do not like you. You need to get out of my establishment. She started the whole thing. She out. Yes. I'm not like that. Not ever again. Do something. You're my line. Get out. Call I need a security. These are the people that demotivated me. This is the reason I'm in debt. In just a couple of idiots talk some stupid nonsense crap, and everybody else just follows him. And you see, this is how they are. Listen, I'm gonna continue to do what is right. I'm gonna continue to help the homeless veterans. I don't care about these pieces. Nobody can discourage me, and I'm gonna continue to do what I want. I do not owe anybody apology. Nobody paid my bill because I'm still in debt. So you. For the record, I'm not apologizing to anybody. These people are the reason that I am where I am today. Anything they said is false and it's ridiculous. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.